Alrighty guys, hey, we're in the master bedroom and I'm gonna decorate for autumn. Right here on my take on home and garden. We're gonna trade our clear candy dish or covered dish with an amber glass one. This cute etched lidded candy dish. Then how about a gorgeous amber glass basket by Fenton. We've got a smell nice candle. There's a wonderful small vase Got from Pier 1 long time ago, long, long time ago. And we love this face in the master bedroom because it goes with our decor. Then, our fabulous Greco Roman urn that I just picked up recently and did my touch up and bronzing work. Here's how far behind I am on everything. This is why I need to do it. Not because I think everybody wants to see another one done, but here's our vase in the master bedroom, which is glorious with the peonies that I did at Easter time. <laughs> so you see how far behind. Now coming around, to Angela's side. This lamp and the pair of lamps are going to be replaced with the two lamps that I just picked up. We'll get over here and look at that one. Now you can see Santa's workshop under the bed. Alrighty, and that's what we got going on. Now I'm gonna to have to take everything off the side tables. I'm gonna polish them, clean, and put it all back with the new lamps. I got my lemon polish and my old work shirt. And we're gonna dust and polish this end table after I get Angela's stuff off. I just did dust the bedroom, but we'll do it again because we got it in our hand. Someday I might do a video on refinishing these tables because of white marks and spills. You may not see much a second and I do want to use the same shades no sense in changing them and I think we've had these lamps probably since we moved to this house so 11 or 12 years at least And believe it or not, it's an upgrade. We're not getting rid of them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're cute. They're pretty, but they are not what I just got. By no means. Wow. <laughs> oh, I like being right. I'm sorry, I just like being right. That's too big. Make sure she has a little space. Oh yes. 
am really liking that. Upgrade and change. Now we gotta go over to the other side. Okay now, we gotta move some things. Temporary. And we're gonna clean. One heavy breeze. Well, we're almost back to normal. <laughs> Alrighty, back to normal. Almost to a point now where I can take you and show you all around in more detail. And how cute is the bird? See the acorns and the colors coming out. Now, I like this separate because it clashes with the bedspread. We're not changing it. And I just love it right there on our vintage chair. Alrighty, guys. Back by request. A tour of the master bedroom so I can show you all around Got the lion head door knocker with no knocker. <laughs> mm. Here you can see the new lamps, the upgraded lamps. Some might say, well, geez, the other ones weren't bad. Well, they weren't bad. You know, I'm going to use them in the loft. It's a matching pair. They're lower, but they're not this quality. And when you change things up, it makes you clean and dust and tidy up and look at your things. So we have antique white on the walls, except the headboard wall is another off white. And as you look in the corner, you can see it's a little whisker darker. Okay, so here's one of my favorite collections is my cars and trucks. We'll do a 360 of the whole room. And I know you get glimpses of it in, uh, at Christmas time, but yes, here's my double kicker drum set with congas and bongos and that's a way for me to relax and have fun and I used to be really good and now I don't have time to be really good I just tinker and have fun here's a cute young couple I wish I could be back at that age <laughs> and here's the Anne of Green Gables porcelain dolls that I got Angela and of course a photo of uh, of us at Christmas time with the tree behind us there up above is the family at uh, Cape Kennedy but here's my wonderful car and truck collection with little circus memorabilia and we just love the Flea and Farmer's Market antique fair sign. <laughs> you, know, you remember some of you when I got the hot air balloons? I just They just went on this little vignette and wall. So good. The old Indians never die. 
motorcycle sign, mobile sign, couple pieces that are really going back because they were my mom's. And good heavens, look at this devil. Here I am in 1980 in Scotland in the U.S. Submarine Force stationed over there. Now this house didn't have a shelf. They ne most of them don't, you guys know. A new house, they're just pitiful. Unless you had somebody build them for you, this is all a particular maple family lumber and I built these for our room. It has a tray ceiling so it was a little tough on that trim work but here's a little jalopy section of cars and some subwoofers when we want to crank that movie. <laughs> and be alone in, in our bedroom. As we have the bigger surround system in the loft for the family when we are all together. And here's Hermes, the great buy I got on the two bus. You'll see this vase, if you remember, way back now. And carried shelf. Cute tins of Scottish guard and some British bikes, sidecar, motorbike, some Harleys, some flatheads, the police bikes. Oh boy, there's, I don't know why. My picture when I was little, Capo de Monte. Hello, and look at this cute girl. This is an early Angela. Frankly, just, you know, before we got together. But, and this is my wonderful favorite brands, Gloria Victus. Those that watched our Washington Museum video saw the full-size one there, and it is staggering. Here's a Spartan brands. You'll see Russian plates, vintage lamp, wonderful feathered in Hummels, Boy Pitching Marbles, that little collection, that's the Jump Roper. And this was a redo that's in our archives, redoing that mirror. And see Marbles and little sentimental pictures. And then Bavarian Hunter Boy, he's got, oh, Probably a woodcock, a rabbit, and a pheasant. And here's Apollo. Just wonderful. Here is the newly made up, got rid of the Easter one finally, <laughs> and my arrangement for the master bedroom with the painted fern and the pomegranate and bittersweet. Here's Pan coming around to Angela's side and all the lovely Victorian pieces. The trunk full of memorabilia like grandma's blankets and Africans hand sewn and handmade baby blankets for the kids. We keep all that sentimentals. Not every one that they ever had, but, and then Angela's amethyst 
collection. We have that video if you haven't seen it. And of course you're looking at English Manor House style. If you need to rest your eyes, you look up at the ceiling. There's no artwork or artifacts hanging on the ceiling, except the ceiling fan. <laughs> so that's where you rest your eyes. These niches were picked up a few years ago. We couldn't wait to get them. They really matched the bed. And here's Angela's little, wonderful little marble vase from Pier 1 Imports, probably 25 years ago. There's a pair of those, there's another one. But I did that cute little, so she doesn't, you know, when she rolls over to go to sleep and she can see that. <laughs> And uh, vintage hat boxes. And there's the little booty writing that I made that you saw in another video with the license plate feather. <laughs> and this wonderful print by Cot. And that was a wedding present from my mom. We love our bedroom set and the bedding. It's a pillow top, Sealy Posturepedic mattress, and we've had it our whole time at this house, and it just holds up. Here is Scruffy Scrufferson with the pumpkin, <laughs> and he's got his glasses up. So I think it's fun to add a little something cute. Just make it fun and make it different and make it yours, you know. And if I mentioned the chairs before, they were starting to hurt us, the old ones. So we just got these in. It's some of why I wanted to show the bedroom. And we'll get into these collections, you know, I've been kind of saving them back. Hot air balloons, airplanes, motorcycles, trucks and cars. Now I use just a temporary fold up side table because I can get it out of the way. But here's the new chairs. They're leather, and this color is called sage. And there's a little sage in our bedspread. Hopefully you can see it. And in the curtains that match. And the carpet on the floor. So that's why, I mean, I mean they had a good, look at the cute little amber glass. Got Hershey's Kisses in that one. Covered candy dish. And of course, there's a wonderful Grecian urn that you just saw on the hall that I picked up and redid the finish on that one. Switched out the lampshade there. Ready to rock and roll. We like our eclectic furniture. And one of the reasons I wanted this house so bad was the master bedroom is so huge it's like an apartment on its own folks i've done my work for today cleaned and decorated and filmed and a whole list i'm gonna kick back with my design toscano magazine See what kind of trouble I can get into there. <laughs> Hope you liked our video today, guys. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you soon. Like, share, subscribe, and give us a comment.
And don't forget to check out our stores. We have an Etsy store now called My Take on a Vintage Shop. And you know, we have our spring store. Both links are in the description box under the video. Take a look, got some really cute stuff going on. Thanks guys. Did I mention after <laughs> the chairs we had in here were older than our relationship? I'm not kidding. Mine got so bad, it was hurting my back to sit in it. We've been looking for a new set of chairs for three or four years now, and we finally got them. You can find them on Wayfair. Everything you touch is leather on these. We wanted leather, and we got a buy. Got a good buy. The color here is called Sage. They're manual, which means, you know, you just pushed it back by yourself. And they need to come with a warning, frankly, because if you kick that back like that, you might not be getting anything else done for the day. Say la vie and au revoir. Take care and we'll see you in the next over the top take a nap video.